Now we have this, go over to Zapier and we're going to want to uh, make a zap. First step is going to be Airtable. I'm going to have a new record. Connect your Airtable account, connect your base, connect your table, test and continue. Just go and check we've got the data we want. Make sure we've got the result with some data in. Because remember, it will pull in these blank rows as well. Then for your next step, we're going to want to go Google Docs. Create a document from template. Connect your Google Docs account. The Makerpad letter template. Make sure that's the benefit of naming what you do. And then for the new document name, we're just going to add in something for reference. So here we should be able to have some data available to us from Airtable. Okay, next you can go and then actually select uh, where you want this new document to be saved. So if you've got like a folder, um, you can put it in there. We're just going to save it to root for now. And then you have these fields that we created. See first name, last name. These are the fields that we created here. So they're not coming from Airtable, they're coming from this document. So Zap has actually gone into this document and recognized where you've added the fields. So first name, we're just going to go through and now map these across because we want to insert this Airtable data into our document. Okay. Then press continue, press test and continue. Okay. So if you want to go and um, review it, you can just see if the data has been sent here successfully. And then of course, go back into your Google Docs and see if we should have a new doc created with Makepad for Tom Osman. Okay, here we go, two seconds. Okay, here we go. Great, so now we have the information that we passed through from our form all the way through to create this document for us here. And now that is the end of it. And that's a really simple way that you can actually take in some data from something like Airtable and then create a custom document inside of Google Docs. I hope this tutorial is going to be useful for you. You can use this for a variety of things from invoices to proposals to physical letters. Anything you think of, you can probably do inside of Google Docs. Nice and quick and nice and easy. If you have any questions, then reach out inside the Makerpad Slack at Tom Osman or on Twitter at Tom Osman as well. See you later. Bye.